And as we saw in our banking report in China, the QR colour code on a smartphone can restrict your movements. Green means you're healthy and you can go about daily life, but yellow or red mean you present a risk. We met a human rights lawyer who says the software is being used as a form of state control. Lawyer Wang Yu hasn't been able to move around freely for some time. As a critic of the regime, she's often been under house arrest. But now the government has developed a new restriction on movement. The Corona Warning app is compulsory nationwide, but no longer works for her. Wang Yu can't even go shopping. When she needs to go to court for a sensitive case, the app shows a yellow code, even after multiple negative PCR tests. <laughs> I had to go to court as an attorney on a case in the city of Datong. But they turned my coat to yellow. I couldn't do anything. You can hardly move. You can't go anywhere. Wang Yu is incensed that there are no laws covering the operation of the Corona Health app. There's no paperwork, no regulations, nothing. So the restrictions imposed through the app are totally legal. Getting around the city is now an obstacle course. Even in the taxi, the health app's QR code has to be scanned. Luckily, the driver only needs one passenger to log in. What if someone doesn't scan it? You have to, that's the rule. But what if they don't have a cell phone? Then they can't go by taxi. A green code on the health app is also required for buses and subways. Even access to apartments is now monitored. Everyone in Beijing lives within a gated compound, with only one entrance. There are checkpoints everywhere. Wang Yu lives in the Beijing suburbs. Only after a heated argument do the security guards allow her into her own building without a scan. All visitors must also log in. No one knows what will happen tomorrow. Maybe the guard won't let me through, and I won't be able to get in. And this is all illegal. The Chinese government has turned the Corona app into a surveillance tool. Every time it's scanned, names and locations are passed on to the police.